Hi guys, Eddie here and welcome to another video. I know it's been a while, uh, but I promise I'll be uploading a lot more new content uh, over the coming weeks now, the busy summer period we've had, uh, Amplify Trading is over. Uh, now I'll be able to contribute a lot more uh, to the YouTube channel. But one thing you can do for me, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoy it, uh, and that will obviously help our exposure and help us to get a lot more content out there. But today we're going to be covering uh, why the VIX, so the volatility index, has actually been increasing even as equity markets headed higher. Uh, so usually this volatility index works inversely uh, to equity markets. It's sometimes uh, kind of seen as a fear gauge. So essentially what it is, it's a 30-day forward-looking expectation uh, of S&P 500 specifically, implied volatility in contrast to realized volatility. Uh, and like I mentioned, it's kind of like a fear gauge. Uh, and usually as equity sell off, you'll see the VIX rise as equity market participants or portfolio managers seek to protect um, that equity sell off with some downside protection in the form uh, of, of the VIX. Um, actually, what we've seen is the VIX at the highest level ever with equities at all-time high. So every time equities have been at all-time high, this VIX reading is the highest it's ever been. Okay, uh, And as we've seen over the weekend, and particularly on Friday, um, we've seen a lot of news come out now uh, about the Japanese conglomerate firm SoftBank. So they've got this essentially $100 billion fund. Um, and recently, they've actually been purchasing um, call options. Okay, So they've spent $4 billion OK, uh, on option premium uh, on particularly U.S. tech, tech stocks. Um, and this has a notional amount of about 30 billion. OK, so Mayoshi son, he actually lost 40 billion in the dot com crash. Um, and, you know, this is obviously why um, market participants are looking at this uh, as a bit of a warning signal. Uh, so I'm going to dive into what's actually going on here below the surface. Uh, but essentially what this is, uh, SoftBank, is it's a momentum buying strategy. Okay, um, And it's a, a phrase that's been coined uh, by a Nomura strategist that came out of the FT article. It's essentially the tail wagging the dog uh, and this feedback loop. OK, uh, and obviously this is, comes off the back of the Nasdaq uh, down 4% last week, the worst uh, week since March uh, in the depths of the coronavirus crisis. And actually it was down up to 10% uh, from the all time high peak. OK, um, so essentially in almost one line, what's happening here um, is obviously SoftBank, big, big firm, huge funds under management. Uh, they were buying call options. And obviously we've seen um, in the equity markets, lots of things contributing to the equity markets going up, like uh, stimulus checks, global central bank easing, and obviously the market concentration uh, of these tech companies making up such a you know a huge proportion of the S and P, uh, and obviously particularly the Nasdaq. Okay, um, so people were purchasing these call options. Okay, and obviously when a big buy side fund, uh, you know, an asset manager or a hedge fund, when they deal they actually will have to contact uh, an investment bank okay, uh, to, to make that trade. Okay? And as they are long call options, the investment bank would actually be short those call options. So they would be, they would be short. Okay? Then to hedge their market risk, if they are at short uh, on this option position, the dealers will have to hedge these short positions. Okay? And what does that mean? They're buying stock. Okay, so obviously contributing to the stock market rally. Okay, and they're hedging things like complicated things uh, in the option world, like delta and gamma. Okay, uh, and obviously as a, as a result of this, you know, the the size of this trade being so big, this has actually exacerbated both the buying, so to the to the upside, uh, and also the downside as well. And obviously where we are at the moment, we're in all well September now. I don't know where time flies to in the coronavirus kind of era, um, but usually volumes are relatively low in the summer as people go away, if they could go away, but they usually. Uh, they're off the desk, particularly now. Today, uh, we've got a US market holiday. 
Okay, um, but really, uh, the you know the nitty gritty of this is that this options market boom, both by retail and obviously now institutional, has left this market particularly vulnerable uh, to market volatility in both uh, directions. So up and down. So the stat coming from Goldman Sachs is the overall nominal value of calls traded on individual US stocks, so relative to the index, has averaged 335 billion a day. Okay, so over the last two weeks, and this is more than triple the rolling average between 2017 uh, and 2019. Okay, so SoftBank have been revealed as this kind of NASDAQ whale purchasing huge amounts, billions, in fact, uh, of call options. And really, this is exacerbating uh, the moves in both ways because this flow okay, is so substantial. The billions that are actually being pushed through this market, this actually increases the implied volatility. Uh, so that's the VIX. Okay, So this is how you see equity markets okay, and things like the volatility index both increasing at the same time. Okay, so institutions using the call options to participate in the uh, upside, but also they're purchasing VIX calls as well. And this is kind of like this barbell strategy that we've seen over the recent years where you know uh, funds have been piling into tech stocks and then nothing in the middle, no industrial, things like that. They're going at one end of the spectrum, so in the technology names, and then going all the way down in the other end of the risk spectrum, so things like government bonds. So we're seeing this barbell effect. So what for, you know institutions are actually doing, like SoftBank, are buying call options on the stock, okay, or the individual names, so the equity indices or the individual names, plus they're buying volatility, right, or protection for volatility, like VIX calls. Okay, so while these institutions are actually using these sophisticated option trading strategies, okay, we've now seen retail, you know, participation increase dramatically. Uh, and you've all seen it in the news of Robin Hood traders and retail traders using these options. But the unsophistication is re really where the problem is, right? So if you think about the Robin Hood names and things like that, they're just owning the underlying stocks, right? They're buying Hertz or uh, the Fangs as an example, but actually they're not using, let's say, VIX calls uh, potentially. Okay, so they own the underlying names, but not actually things like derivatives that have a bad name, but actually are very useful uh, for protection. Okay, so the institutions are using VIX calls and stock calls, whereas the Robin Hood traders actually own these stocks outright because they just don't have that level of, let's say, training. Okay, so obviously we saw a really sharp correction, uh, clusters 10% drawdown uh, in the NASDAQ last week. Um, will we see another, you know, really sharp correction, just like we saw um, in March when the market bottomed on the 23rd of March? That was around a 35%. Uh, drawdown. So, you know, will retail traders, if they are involved, maybe after the after the March pullback, you know, do they have the education to really protect their downside, or you know, be able to really stomach more than a forty percent loss? We'll see. Um, but I hope that made some some sense. Um, the options world is relatively confusing, uh, but I hope that shed some light on what's going on below the surface uh, when it comes to firms like SoftBank buying these huge uh, volumes of options. Uh, so please do like and subscribe the video, uh, this video. Uh, and if you enjoyed the content, leave a comment as well. If you want to see anything else, let me know. I'll hopefully definitely be a lot more active uh, on the YouTube channel again because uh, you seem to enjoy the video. So take care and have a good week.